Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So IntelliJ IDEA IDE is one of the most popular IDE among developers for developing Java based programs and apps. So let's see how we can download IntelliJ IDEA. So in order to install IntelliJ IDEA, you need to have Java installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't know how to install Java JDK on your Windows 11 operating system, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video, which shows how you can install Java JDK and then you can start installing the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for uh, IntelliJ IDEA. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash idea. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. So just click on this link, which is going to open this kind of window. Now straight away, you will be able to see uh, this download button at the top and you will see this download button here in the middle of this website. So you can click any one of these buttons and it's going to open this window. Now IntelliJ IDEA have two different versions. First one is the ultimate version, which is the paid version. And this version have more features than the community version. But for the beginners and new developers or students, the community version is enough uh, for developing many uh, Java based applications. So we are going to download the community version. You can click on the download button here, which, which is going to start the download of this idea.exe file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this executable file and let me minimize my browser. And first of all, you will see this window which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this uh, application so I will click on yes and it's going to start the IntelliJ IDEA community edition setup. So here I'm going to click on next. So here this will be the default location where IntelliJ IDEA IDE will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this just leave it as default. Otherwise you can click on browse and choose the location and then click on next. And here you can see uh, different installation options. So first of all, I can check this checkbox, which is going to create the desktop shortcut. Also, I can uh, check this context menu and update path variables. So I'm going to check this checkbox. And for this, the restart will be needed. You can see. So you need to restart your uh, Windows operating system in order to update the path variables and you can also create the associations. I leave everything as unchecked here because I can do it later also. I just want the desktop icon and the path variables and I'm going to click on next. And here also click on install button, which is going to uh, start the installation of IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. You can also click on show details where you can see what steps are going on in the installation of your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And once the IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been successfully installed, you will be able to see uh, this kind of window. Now, because we have chosen some options which requires restart, you can reboot your operating system by selecting this uh, radio button and click on finish, which is going to restart your Windows operating system. But for now, I'm going to choose this one, which says I want to manually reboot later, which is not going to reboot my Windows operating system. But still, I can start using IntelliJ IDEA IDE on my Windows 11 operating system. So as I mentioned, the restart is recommended. So I will recommend you to restart your Windows operating system and then you can start using IntelliJ IDEA. In my case, I'm going to directly uh, just click on this icon, which is going to launch IntelliJ IDEA. And for the first time, when you start IntelliJ IDEA IDE, it's going to show you this license terms and conditions uh, window. You can read these license terms and conditions and if you agree, click on this checkbox and then click on continue. 
and then uh, there is this data sharing option and then on the next window you can see this data sharing window i don't want to share any statistics with intellij idea so i'm going to click on don't send which is going to start intellij idea on my windows 11 operating system so now you can see intellij idea ide has been started on my windows 11 operating system so at this point i can uh, create a new uh, project by clicking on the new project button so let me just do that so let me click on the new project button and then from here you can choose which project you want to create using intellij idea ide so let's just create a very simple java project so i'm going to select java here and then i'm going to select uh, groovy from here on the top you can see project sdk so because i have already pre-installed java jdk 17 on my windows 11 operating system i can see this uh, 17 version but if you haven't installed any version of java previously you can select download jdk which is going to uh, download the jdk for you and then it's going to select uh, that version automatically for you but i will always recommend to download java jdk manually on your windows 11 operating system and as i said the link will be in the description if you don't know how to uh, install java jdk once you are done you can click on next here and then give the name to your project i'm going to give the name hello to my project and this will be the location where all your uh, intellij idea projects will be uh, saved if you want to change this location you can click on this uh, browse button which is going to uh, allow you to change the location once you are done click on finish which is going to create this java project for you so now you can see this project has been created and intellij idea always shows a tip of the day when you start intellij idea ide so if you want to close this window you can directly click on close let me maximize this window here now uh, here you can see there is this new feature which says code with me so if you want to invite others to your ide you can uh, use this feature now once your project has been created you can create a java class from here so i can right click on the source folder and then uh, select new and then java class and then uh, i'm going to name my class as uh, hello once again and then click on uh, class which is going to create this hello.java class for me so now i can see under source this uh, hello.java class has been created for me and uh, now inside this class i can uh, create a public static void main method so i can just write psvm uh, here and then click on enter which is going to create the public static void main method for me and then i can just write s out here and then press enter which is going to uh, just write system dot out dot print line so this is a very good feature which helps you to write your code faster in intellij idea right inside the parenthesis i'm going to just write hello world here and then i can run my program so to run your program you can right click here and then click on run hello.main right so let me just click on this uh, run hello.main so this is going to build my uh, java file first of all and then it's going to run my java file so you can see the output is printed here which says hello world and once you run your java program using the right click and uh, run uh, hello.main file you will see that some buttons will appear from the next time so from the next time you can build your program using this icon you can run your program using this icon and you can debug your program using uh, this uh, bug icon right so from the next time let's say i just add some more uh, text here i can uh, build this program and once this program is built i can also run it so once my uh, program is built, I can click on the run button, which is going to show me the output you can see here. Okay. So this is how you can install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.